Hey everyone, today in the studio I have to do a bunch of things in preparation for the candle launch in November 1st. I'm currently conducting a burn test for the glass containers and for the cement containers. So far I have had a lot of failures but I do believe that I found the correct wick to use for these two containers so I'm very excited I'm currently doing the burn test just to make sure that it burns evenly and consistently all throughout the life cycle of the candle and then I'll be using the molds that I have purchased from Amazon to create the vessels for the cement candles that I will be launching on November 1st so these are my pride and joy taking a really long time to get these things right once they're poured into the molds all I have to do is wait an hour demold them and then seal them up paint them and make sure they are ready for the wax and this is what they look like I have an eight ounce vessel and a one ounce vessel so these will be my sample vessels for people that buy you all can get these in sets of threes or sets of six so I'm really excited for this all right, let's get on with the working day. What I'm gonna do now is do the lids for the eight ounce containers and the bottoms for the eight ounce containers and the 1.5 ounce containers. So I'm gonna do a bit of measurement and then I'm gonna use my Glowforge to create these lids and bottoms. I always use a pair of headphones to protect my ears when I use the Glowforge, just in case. As you can see, it cut everything out beautifully. Now all that I have to do is make sure that it actually fits. So this one fits beautifully. So we for sure know that this one works and it also will work for the bottom of the containers, which will look very nice indeed. And then for these smaller containers, yep, it works. Oh, it works very, very well. I am so glad. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Yep. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like wood, concrete, wood, wood, concrete, wood.
elected office. 